Hi everyone. It's a cool day in Wisconsin, even though it's August. And Kari and I are here again to give you one of my archival clips of my column. This one was written in August 1981. Stalking your prey when hunting. Stalking your prey is half the battle when hunting. Quietly you approach, looking left and right, taking one step at a time. If you tramp about clumsily bumping into things, tripping over your, your feet, you might as well forget ever, ever getting your trophy and take up another sport like maybe checkers. But if, you, if you're diligent, you'll hear your prey before he spots you and flees. At first sound, you cock your head and go to the right. Another noise tells you to move more to your left, and then another says straight forward. The darn thing won't hold still. Your ears begin playing tricks on you. You're tired, it's late, and your bedroom is dark. Bedroom? Of course, where else would you be searching for an elusive chirping cricket? It's two o'clock in the morning, and you've already lost four hours of sleep because the little beast's intolerable chirping. He's somewhere under the furniture. Once you even thought you had him cornered under the bed, but instead you found only a handful of dust bunnies. Then down on all fours, like any other hunting dog, you follow the chirp, chirp, chirp to the dresser. You move closer. The chirping stop. He's there, close real close. Again, absolute quiet is needed. So you sit and wait for the cricket to make his fatal mistake and chirp one more time. He does. Chirp. You pounce and pounce again with all your might, knocking over a magazine ra rack, two bedroom chairs and a corner lamp with unbelievable reflexes and dexterity. Unlike yours, the cricket jumps away. At two in the morning, all you can do is fling your body at the little bugger in his direction and hope, beyond hope, that part of you lands on him and stop his sleep-disturbing song. Only experts at cricket hunting can get a trophy with this fabulous flopping method. Most others are left exhausted, gasping to regain their wind on the floor, listening to the chirp of victory in another corner of the room. But rest assured, at least after an unsuccessful hunt, the hunter can sleep even if the bug serenade continues. Exhaustion does that to a person I know, and so does the cricket under our bed. Yes, that was written many years ago, but it could have been today. It could have been last week. Who knows when you get a cricket in the house? and some cat is chewing on you. But really, if there was a cricket jumping across the floor now, he would go get it. He loves chasing bugs and catching them and sometimes eating them. I hope you have a good day. Until next time.